hello, welcome to the best place on, I was not ready for that, but whatever. Welcome to the best place on earth podcast. I'm your host, Jocelyn Jane. As usual, we are in the best place on earth, Kansas City, Missouri. Today's podcast is called One Red Pencil. As you see, I have one in my hand. I've been inspired by the Canadian blogger who started off with one red paper clip and 14 trades later, he ended up with a house. Am I saying that's what I'm going to end up with by the end of the night? Probably not, but who knows what I'll have in my hand by the time this podcast is over. I'm pretty excited. Hope you are too. Let's get going. <laughs> yeah, what would you trade? Uh... Your ID? What the fuck? That's why I have a Oh, from where? Hawaiian breast. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like you gotta cherish this pencil though. I need to know it's going to a good home. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool, bro. I will totally, I will trade you one red pencil for a free meal at Hawaiian Bros. Like yes, yes, thank you. You guys, check out the podcast. See what I end up with. One free meal from Hawaiian Bros. That's an upgrade, my friends. That pencil was like five cents. This is worth like $15. We're Going good. <laughs> Ladies, would you like to be on a podcast? It's super fun, I promise. It's called Best Place on Earth. It's Man on the Street. I just go around doing random shit. I started off with one red pencil. Someone gave me a free meal at Hawaiian Bros worth $15 for my one red pencil. And I'm just wondering, what will you guys trade for a free meal at Hawaiian Bros? You don't like Hawaiian Bros? Absolutely not. What's wrong with Hawaiian Bros? Um, it's just not my thing. I don't like fast food for, I feel like it's um, maybe like for lunch. People eat it for lunch. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm going to make my lunch. So, okay. it's not so my you thing. bring your lunch to work. So you're not interested, even though it is free. No, I'm not interested. Okay. I'm heartbroken. And so you, you're not interested either. Not. No. I don't eat fast food. But what if they made it slowly? Instead of fast? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I tried. Let's go. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Yo. Hey. You want to be on it? Okay, okay. Okay, real fast. What will you guys trade for this? Tiran una foto. Que, uh. YouTube, YouTube. Where's your translator? Vamos para frente. Vamos para allí. I can't understand you at all. <laughs> you got a green light. You're good. You're good. No worries. <laughs> it's okay. Bye. This has been a string of endless failure. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me flounder and flop as I slowly run out of oxygen, just like flopping on the ground. I'm doing this for all of you, okay? For the culture. <laughs> Hey, you guys want to be on my podcast? <gasps> you have a puppy! <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to be on my podcast? <gasps> okay. Hi. Oh my god, you're so cute. I love you so much. Hello. Okay, so this is kind of random. So, the podcast? Of course, of course. <laughs> my viewers are not going to shame you. They're all smoking right now. Okay, so it's called Best Place on Earth. And this is Rufus and his posse. So um, I went around Kansas City asking random questions. And today, the random question is, what will you trade for this? It is a free meal at Hawaiian Bros. I started off with a red pencil. I have worked my way up to a $15 meal at Hawaiian Bros. Want a dog? <gasps> I would take your dog, 100%. You want to trade your dog? Oh, damn. I was like, I would have ended the podcast right now as a winner. cigarette? I have maybe... I have a dozen cigarettes. Hawaiian Bros is really good. Do you want to I trade? A free meal. It is like $15 worth. What is that working? It's, it's really at Hawaiian Bros. I got it from two employees yeah. at Hawaiian Bros. 
It's a really good place. What, what kind of food is it? It's Hawaiian food, man. Could you not tell? It's really good. <laughs> you don't have to give all the cigarettes. You can take out half of them. <laughs> that's true. That's yeah? That's, that's worth the meal. That's true. Okay, I do. Uh, You're going to have a tough time. You're going to gonna like it, bro. I, I have to take what people give me, man. That's the rules. Okay. That was a... Uh, is anyone going to... Oh, you'll find out. I don't know, man. That's I don't even I care. It's not gonna be. <laughs> I'm going to take your... What's up, man? <laughs> Who are you, Tracy Morgan? <laughs> you want to trade that? <gasps> oh, my God. I will trade you. Here's $15. It's a Hawaiian Bros free meal. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I love you. Listen, this is just a lot easier. Would you like to trade this? I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, I got something people actually want now. <laughs> Rufus, you're amazing. Say goodbye, Rufus. Oh, she's sneezing. Thank you for like being willing. I could have found somebody who wanted that for sure. Are you guys from Kansas City? I just moved here about a month and a half ago. He's visiting. Uh huh. Nice. Mass holes. Yeah. Mass holes. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, from Boston. <laughs> oh, baby. So you just got a puppy. Yeah, I got her a little less than a week ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she loves you. She's yeah, already she's like very crazy. attached to you. The yeah, fact that you. You carry her around everywhere? No, I usually let her run around, but she was being a bit nippy, so I didn't want her to Got it. get out anyone. Got it. She Ladies, date him. He'll carry you around Kansas City like a queen, right? Right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, guys. You want to be on my podcast? It's super fun, I promise. So, the premise is, I started off with a red pencil. I have traded several times. Just anybody who would like to trade up to this. I started with the red pencil. I then got a $15 gift card from Hawaiian Bros. And now I have this. What will you trade me for this? Do you have anything you'd like to trade? <laughs> would you like this? Oh my God. Wait, it broke. Uh-uh. I like you, man. That's a real gift card. I hope you enjoy that. Today's? Oh, no. I have to trade up. You can have one of them, though, because you're very sweet. <laughs> Bye, guys. I got to share. Share the wealth, man. Come on, now. Aw. What's your name? You're a drummer. Very cool. Fuck yeah, bro. I hope you enjoy that. Let me get your email. You're on my podcast. Yeah. Let me get your email. I'll send it to you because you're right, definitely going to be on it. You're like a main character. What's well, your email? Really? You just oh, put my name on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about I put a ring on it? Uh, <laughs> wait, how about I put a ring on it? I'll, I'll trade you this for that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This. <laughs> Just to be clear. Uh, just to be Not clear. this. This. Hey, it's all you. Whatever's all you is mine. Okay, put your email down. <laughs> you dirty bastard. I broke it again. You are absolutely a jazz drummer. There's no way he isn't. They are constantly they are constantly on the prowl. Music so saucy make you want to get a room. We won the what we already met. We we were in the finals of the blues challenge in Kansas City, wow. Missouri. You gotta be good. We was only together less than maybe a year ish. And so you play like right around I play here? yeah, I play all over. Yes. Oh. Hey guys. Are you enjoying this? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we love street harassment. <laughs> harassment? <laughs> not me, not you. <laughs> From him, really. <laughs> I'm on God fearing man. I like you, bro. I play at Peace Baptist Church. I got my job back. How did you lose it? I was too high one Sunday. And <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you want to get to God, you got to go high. That's the pastors. <laughs> True story. The pastor shook his head when I walked in the door and I sat down in the pew and listened to the sermon. Guess what the sermon was? What? Entitled, You're About to Lose Your Position. So, but prior to that, I have narcolepsy also. I was sitting on my drum phone and he was preaching. And then all of a sudden I knocked out. Next thing you know, you heard, bam, 
yeah, 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 yeah. I fell all into the drums. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah. So he stopped preaching and just looked over at me and said to the congregation, "Oh, he's just got narcolepsy. He'll be all right." <laughs> and kept preaching. <laughs> Peace Baptist Church. So after you showed up high, that's on twenty uh, third Chestnut. So after, after you showed up high, uh huh. Hi, and did he tell you you're fired because you were high? No, I just didn't go back. I ain't stupid. No, wow. You like self-fired. Yeah. You're not gonna lie. I have never heard of that. Well, I ain't. You're a very conscientious man. You better be in this world. Did you feel guilty when you shut up high? No. But you felt nah, guilty nah, after. Nah. Where, did God, where did Jesus go? He went high. No. He went high and low. That's, <laughs> that's a good one there. I like that in you. High and low. It he went high low. and low? Yeah, he didn't. The lowest? Never look down on a man and not unless you're picking him up. The highest? Like that. The kings and the queens. All right. I got to keep moving, but can you do some drumming with these real fast? Oh, yeah. What you want to do? Put on some music. Put on some music? <laughs> I'm a symbol. I'm a symbol All like right, Prince. Yeah. Alright, that goes. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Love it, bro. Bye. <laughs> All right, this is what I got. They have been used and well loved. I had three, but I had to give one to that little girl. She looked so sad. She took the hair clips out of her hair because she really wanted it. So I had to give it to her. But we have two. I think it's pretty good. I was going to get a, a, like five cigarettes. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, <laughs> I know. I saw you. <laughs> you know what, though? I had to do it for the people, though. I had to keep the podcast going. Fortunately, that beautiful black angel from the heavens he was high there too. He came down with these here. And we'll find somebody who wants them. So stay tuned, babas. Yeah, <gasps> Fuck yeah. Okay, you rolling? Okay, cool. So come on over. This podcast is called Best Place on Earth. And the premise is I run around the streets. I started with a red pencil, one red pencil. And I'm seeing what I can get to by the end of the night. This guy went viral in Canada. He started with one red paper clip. 14 trades later, he had a fucking house. So, <laughs> I, I have this now. After one more pencil, I have one more pencil, then a gift card to Hawaiian Bros. And now I have these. What will you trade for these? I don't think I have anything on me. Where's your car? Bro, it's like that way. Damn, parking sucks down here, man. Do you want anything? Whatever jewelry. Do you want to trade jewelry? I like your belt. <laughs> your belt is adorable. <laughs> It's a little too cute. Though. Yeah, okay, fuck yeah. Ha okay. <laughs> ha, hell yeah. I know, I just got it yesterday. You gotta buy your new one. I know. Okay. I'll buy you a new one. Alright, alright. Girl, fuck yes. <laughs> this podcast just got good. You just upgraded this podcast single-handedly. Bye, guys. Thank you. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> it's a brand new belt. This is a brand new belt. I have to say, hey you guys, you wanna be on my podcast? So I started with one red pencil and I have ended up with this belt that is brand new. And I'm wondering if you guys would like to trade anything for this brand new belt. I don't even have anything to trade to be honest. What's in your bags? What's in your bags? I just have my money, like pepper spray in my phone. Do you wanna try the belt on, see if it fits you? I it's pretty cute, it's I brand new. Know, I don't have any We'll see if you like it, and then we'll decide. <laughs> Do you like it? Is this like your style? It's like kind of cool, like gypsy. I never wear belts, to be honest. But it's okay. I, yeah. 
you're like, honey, this is not your style. <laughs> it's okay, though. That's a part of the podcast. Abject failure and embarrassment. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Let's go this way. Boop, boop, boop. You look good. Let's try down here. Do you want to try it? Okay. Okay, sure you have, bro. <laughs> okay, sure. So we got a $25 Target gift card. Fuck yeah. And then I think there's, I don't I think I've used this once maybe. It was like $35. You're amazing, bro. And then I love you. You're <laughs> such a good dude. Is he your boyfriend? Yeah. You're Pretty good, sure girl. To I love you. Uh, I got so many good Oh, my God. He's such a good person. This is awesome. This is one thing about the podcast that, like, probably the best thing about the podcast. It's not all this shit, but, like, just seeing I don't know if you want it. why this is the best place on earth. It's probably, like, 12 bucks on here. It's a prime. Okay, I need to stop you at some point because you're such a giver. It's you're so here. sweet. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, 12 bucks on here. 25 bucks on... 25 bucks for sure. This one, I've used like once or twice, but I know I didn't use it So all. like 30 bucks on Probably, here? Probably, yeah, 30 bucks. And then a free entree. <laughs> free entree to go 10, 25, 30, free entree. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You're that's so it. sweet. Oh, I hope you guys get married and have lots of babies. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Damn. One red pencil. And now we got like $100 right here. This is going pretty good, I got to say. Going pretty good. Da, 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 da. What's up, man? Hi. <laughs> he looks sweaty. <laughs> but, but nice. <laughs> I think we're all sweaty. <laughs> yeah, but he's in a car. That sucks, bro. <clears throat> hey, I mean, I've had so many cars, but the AC does not work. Hey, I have a question. Hi. So, I'm in a podcast, and it's called Best Place on Earth. And I run around with random segments. I started out with one red pencil, and now I have, this is a $25 gift card to Target. This is a $10 gift card to Prime. This is, has $30 on it, this Visa card, and it's a free entree to um, Cost, Costa Vida. What will you trade for all of this? <laughs> what is in your wallet? Do you have gift cards you want to trade for this? All I have is just, oh my. Like credit cards, debit cards, and just that. You want to trade less cash cash for this? I will take 20 bucks for all of this. Really? Yeah. For all of it? Yeah, why not? You're not kidding. No. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I'll take 20 bucks. It's yours, bro. Wow. Trade. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice night. What's your name? Danny. Danny, all right, 20 bucks. We're good. Have a nice night, bro. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy those gift cards. All right. We went from gift cards to cash. Let's see what we can get for 20 bucks. This is so fun. Cash is king. You know, those are gift cards. I don't know there's money on them. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I hope there is. I really hope there is because he's very sweet. But, you know, the guy who gave them to me didn't seem like a scumbag liar. No. So, probably. This is a cold, hard cash. Let's see what I get for it. Hello. One of you guys want to be on my podcast? I started off with one red pencil, and I have now ended up with 20 bucks. What would you like to trade for 20 bucks? Do you have anything you'll trade for 20 bucks? I mean, my phone key, my keys and my phone are the only thing. <laughs> he travels light, folks. I do travel light. Mm, that's probably smart. Like, you know, if somebody mugs you, you won't get wiped out. Exactly. Uh, this reminds me of the office episode. Is that what you're... Uh, I don't know. Did they do that there? Uh, Dwight starts off with a thumbtack and he ends up trading his way up to like a telescope. Oh my God. How many times did he have to trade to do that? I think he traded like 11 times, but then Jim pranks him and makes up like a story about fake beans. <laughs> Is this your way of telling me that you just lied to me and you actually do have something to trade because you have like a fake not trade? <laughs> I could have baked beans, but no. This is this time I don't have baked beans. Damn it. Well, this is just an elaborate ruse to see what you have so we can mug you. But you don't have anything, so you're safe tonight, my friend. 
<laughs> have a nice night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, you want to be on our podcast? You want to be on our podcast? <gasps> Hell yeah, you're standing here. Why not? Okay, so it's called Best Place on Earth. I don't know how much you heard, but like, we start off with one red pencil, and now we have 20 bucks, and I'm just trading up to see what I can get. Do you have anything you'd like to trade for $20? Uh, I don't have me. <laughs> <laughs> you also travel light. Very light. Men don't have purses. Nope. Maybe European handbags? Nope, I don't. Have you ever been tempted to get one? I have one. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't know, if, we were, if we weren't at my own house, I would oh. be carrying. I carry all kinds of oh stuff on me. But... What do you carry on you? I'm interested in what men carry. Mm, backwoods, uh, lighter. Backwoods? Lighter. What's, what's a backwood? Uh, it's smoke weed with. Oh, oh okay. Nice. <laughs> but Are you high right now? Always. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I like your high personality, man. Yeah, they do it with me. Yeah, bro. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, this guy right here just told that security to fuck off, man. This, this dude, we don't need him dude. at all, at all. He's like, I got a piece upstairs. We don't downtown need Billy. If you followed me on TikTok, you probably know who I. No, am. what's downtown Billy? Downtown Billy, you can see. Find me on TikTok. I'm all over. The, okay. So I cruise around here. I've lived down here for five years. It. It's my city. Oh, Take yeah. care of it. It's our backyard. Okay. Out of my porch, so. You I love it. it. So you're like some kind of vigilante. Kind of, sorta. Make my way around the city. I do. I do. I mean, I've got a pretty crazy. I've been. I've been with McDonald's for 17 years. Everybody asks me, can't make a career at McDonald's. Well, you know what? Yes, you can. What do you do with McDonald's? I'm a manager. Just a regular manager. But I'm up in the Legends area. Mm -hmm. Come check us out. Hey, I mean, you pay. You get enough money to like live here. Get a shot at the building. It's a nice building. Yeah. It's a nice building. They got actual security that you can tell the fuck off. So, I mean. In and out doors, locked. Good. That was great. That was badass, dude. Seriously. But no, I, I so thought you were just some random dude waiting for the bus and you told him to fuck off. And I was like, this dude is so, so fucking cool, man. <laughs> so you caught me out of good night. Dude. You would have been here last night when I was drinking, boy. <laughs> we could have made a whole ass show. <laughs> And it's called Cops, folks. There's a show for that. See, you need to go to, <laughs> see, you need to go down a blue line with me sometimes. You could have a lot of fun over there. You are crazy. I love you, man. Yo, what's your email? Let me get your email. Downtown Billy. We just met like a celebrity. We met a Kansas City celebrity. Did you know this guy's a celebrity? Yeah, on TikTok, man. Check him out. Downtown Billy. He just told that security guard to fuck off. It was so great, man. <laughs> You don't fuck around. He's like a vigilante. Yeah, don't break the law around here. Oh. Otherwise, he'll join you. <laughs> we ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that part. Of it. Oh, that really is his portrait there. He didn't have anything to trade, but he traded his good spirits. I like that guy very much. Follow him, guys, at Downtown Billy. Watch him break the law. <laughs> it has to be good, right? <laughs> I wanted ice cream. Are you close? Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully this works this time. Okay, so I know this sounds crazy, but I was wondering if you would be willing to trade this for two glasses of Prosecco. <laughs> we did it. I think they call that a win.